Hello everybody, Swift here again with another Backpack Buzz Run and today I'm going to be doing a run with the Berserker trying to do a very simple build which is going to be the Thorn Whip build. So I'm just going to need a Thorn, build, a thorn Whip, that's it. Otherwise, I'm just going to do a classic basic build. Uh, let's go with a Lump of Coal here and I would even say let's maybe get the Shovel early as my first weapon. Let's roll him into a pan, nice, we got the Shovel. And we also found the banana early and cheap, so that's also nice. Uh, can I reorganize just a little bit so that the banana is inside the zone? Something like here? I definitely should be able to do that. Let's reorganize time the very first second of the video. Let's go. Uh... Well, you know what? For some reason, I'm somehow unable to reorganize this. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Let's also buy inventory space and uh, second banana. I would say, yeah, let's go with second banana. We will most likely have energy issues anyway. Let's go. So, uh, yeah, I already explained what the build's going to be. Just one item, literally. They have a double weapon build and a health potion. Theoretically, they should beat us because of the health potion specifically. Unless I out-TPS them. We have already activated them. Nice, we did out-TPS them. Very nice, very nice. Off to the next fight. And I found a shield here. Uh, cheap, that is. Let's get another banana. And now I also have the good old shovel, so we're safe and dandy. And let's get the wooden buckler because we found it here. So we're going to start getting free items out of the shovel. And uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, this should be an E. I mean, it's a race. I guess we have double banana, so we should out heal them. But they have poison, so they should out DPS us. Uh, they also have healing. That's the main issue here. And also they have a wooden buckler, which is also really bad. And we lose this one, is what I would say. Yep, easy enough. Off to the next one. Off to the next one. So I need to get my early wins. That's also why I wanted to go this path. Let's go crafted crystal. This is cheap, so I should buy it right now. I could also go for poison build, but I would say no. Do I care about mana with this character? I mean, what class are we gonna go to is the first and foremost question that you should think about mana. And I'm thinking about going for a Shaman Mask, again. Uh, or a Deadwood Guardian, I would say, for maybe some kind of mana build. So the weapon, by the way, of choice is going to be this thing. This doesn't need mana, really, the Chain Whip. So, yeah, honestly, I can go into whatever. I could also go Wolf Emblem, just go into Dogs. That would be the easiest way of getting... Uh, into a build here or even brass knuckle for that matter both of these are decent as weapons so we're most likely not gonna need mana as i'm seeing that we got a stone that is pretty useless let's roll into inventory space uh we found attack speed that's decent here we go let's put attack on those uh the stone should go away let's roll one more time for inventory maybe i didn't find box of riches i could also go for the luck build again with just a bunch of gemstones uh trying to maybe get the opponent to not be able to heal I think that's the play. Let's just actually, let's go with whetstones and go for opponents cannot heal whetstones. Let's try like a simple whetstone build idea. And let's also get like leather boots so that I'm going to be immune to ice is what I would say. So let's just craft a bunch of things and then just put a bunch of gems on them. And uh, let's let's try that idea and see how this going to go. Or I don't even need to be specific in the, that build into specifically the whetstone build. We're gonna see. Maybe I can just go with a Brass Knuckle build. Just get some stuns out so the pawns can't really play. Let's go, we're smacking them. They're smacking us, we're smacking them. I should also go back to the Dagger build at some point. Nice. And let's get the early Box of Riches, that's also cheap. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. And I did get the gemstone out of the out of the shovel, that's nice. A uh, frozen one, 15% eh, chance to freeze the opponent, might as well. Uh, what is faster? 3.5 cent cooldown, 2.4 cent cooldown, that's faster. I could go for another banana, but I would say no. Uh, selling the stone doesn't really provide us with anything. Right now, it's very common to find commons. So let's go with inventory space, maybe. Found a goober. Nah, let's go. Would like to do also a live stream with bananas pan build. Uh, this is a spikes build, which theoretically should easily have us, as they have a spike shield and a lot of spikes. So right now, whatever damage we're doing, we're taking back almost guaranteed. And uh, we do have healing to counteract that guaranteed damage taken, but they also damage us. I would also like to go into a spikes build to like a 3D spikes build with a ranger. Found a spear. And we found the thorn whip extremely early. That's very, very, very lucky. Uh, let's sell the shovel. And uh, we go into the build right away. The build is an early game build. So the fact that I got an early thorn whip is... It's more lucky than I can even explain. Attack speed on this. And also a chance to freeze opponent on this. Let's also level up the attack speed. And uh, this can be here. The start of battle gain it. I'm going to resist one debuff. And I would also like to get this to buff it maybe the next turn. I will go with the craft crystal being here for every 5.5 second inflicting fatigue over anything else. Uh, let's sell the stone, I would say. And let's maybe re-roll into a spike collar. Nice. And this is also nice. And this is also nice. I could go for a corrupted crystal to not allow opponents to get buffs. And this is also different. This is actually a god shop. 
This is actually a god shop. Um, this here, by the way, is gonna create the following. It's gonna create... Uh, this thing, Cap with discomfort, start of battle, reduce damage taken by 25% for 5 seconds. That's the same with the stone helm. So, and opponents gain 50% chance to notify the buff, and their healing is reduced. I would like to get this, I would like to not allow opponents to really heal. So let's go with the uh, Cap of Discomfort, yeah. Let's try that. Uh, countering opponent healing is gonna be pretty important in my book. Uh, they are a scaling build, we're also a scaling build. I'm scaling one spike per hit. So, theoretically, we should win, as the moment I get 4 or 5 spikes, they will guarantee take 4 or 5 damage. Right now, 4 damage. So, every time I take damage, they take 5 back, a 6. It's, it's over, we win. The spike definitely counters everything here. And now we go into the build itself, as I did get the weapon of choice. So, this thing, Chain Whip, is a slow attacking weapon that does the following. Deal 1 damage for each buff you remove from your opponent, and then on hit, remove 2 random buffs from your opponent. During battle rage, additionally heal for 8 per hit. So the idea is we're gonna try to out-survive the opponents by healing while I'm in battle state. It's by the inventory space. Uh, let's start leveling things up. Uh, this... Uh, you know what, I should buy the uh, Cap of Discomfort first. Actually, actually, I should buy the leather armor first and foremost. And uh, do I have six inventory spaces? One, two, three, four, five. I have only five. I guess the cap can go on the weapon for the time being and plus attack speed. Now I have six spaces, so theoretically I can buy the leather armor and fit it somewhere. And these are gonna be what next turn? I don't really care about inflicting poison. Not that much. And uh, yeah, let me reorganize time here to put the leather armor somehow next to the forging hammer. Okay, here we go, I guess. Uh, the gems are not really that useful as of this moment, but we're gonna get the leather back. Let's go. I'm super excited about this. Uh, this is an early game build, so theoretically we should win early game. The idea is, because we remove debuff buffs from opponents, the best part of when you should remove buffs is early game. So that's why early game should be my most powerful um, time. As you see, we're not allowing the opponents to build up heat while I am building up damage. This does 20 to 25 damage right now, it's gonna kill him. 33 to 41 there at the end. Very nice. And I'm also gonna not allow opponents to heal, to be honest. Dragon skin boots are coming in. Uh, I also found a ruby, 15% damage dealt into healing. Do I want corrupted crystal to go away from this? I would say enjoy where it is. The attack speed is also nice. Uh, do I want this lifesteal? Or amplify healing by 20%. That's what I really care about, the amplify healing aspect. So let's buy this for the amplify healing. What was that? Uh, I don't have enough room though. I'm not gonna be able to fit everything, honestly. Let's get the Amplify Healing for sure. Uh, maybe I should start selling stuff. Blue gems, I think, are gonna be the most irrelevant. Green gems alongside that, too. Yeah, I think blue and red gems are gonna be the relevant. And also, definitely, the coal is gonna be relevant. Uh, also, I'm making mistakes right now because I do have inventory space to fit all these. Yeah, I, I have inventory space to fit runes in general. Man, I, nah. Let's sell this, buy this. And now, from the next turn onwards, we're gonna start combining stuff. Uh, honestly, I would say let's even combine right this moment. Forget the crafting of the boots. Let's actually go with this becomes a cup of discomfort. And let's go on. I definitely keep everything in the build as is. So uh, once again, as long as we remove buff from the opponents. Yeah, this is going to be a luck gain build. Nope, they're not even going to gain luck. It's just a bone arrow build. A simple and clean bone arrow build. That should counter us actually. Because now I don't gain damage as they don't have buffs. So they should definitely counter us. I'm also not even able to hit them. Uh, they will get some spikes from the spike shield. So that is something, I guess, for my damage gain. Also, I'm healing every time we attack with a chain whip. I just got hit for 3D crit damage there. If I get crit again, we die. Uh, fatigue is... Ah, we, we were close, we were close. This is not going well, by the way. Um, so here is the question as to... Should I go with, with a wolf emblem? So we have a, random, a bunch of random buffs. Should I go for a shaman mask? So we uh, use all the gemstones we're gaining anyway. Or luck. And random buffs. Deadwood Guardian, I would say no to this, really. Or Brass Knuckles, because this gives us crit chance. And also, it's a second weapon, so we have some kind of damage right now. Because I don't really have a damage right now. Uh, not Anvil, for sure. So, either we'll go with Doggos, so that we have some kind of damage. I would say let's go with Brass Knuckles, as that's the most uh, get it and forget about it thing. So, we're gonna just take that. And let's go with inventory space. Very nice. Does this have a slot for a gemstone? No, it does not. Uh, let's go with amplify healing here. Where's the 40%? Let's go with 40% lifesteal on this. Have discomfort making the opponents weaker. And let's definitely buy the boots to craft them. Uh, let's roll. I don't care about mana. Axe is good and all. Chipped sapphire. I could get a second pool whip, by the way. But I think I will have energy issues. This has 2.3 stamina cost. Uh, do I have any attack speed gain, though? 
Because if I don't have attack speed gain, I could just go with a second Twin Whip. I'm not really sure I want that though. I think I'm going to stick to just having a bunch of random items. Uh, Chip Chaffer is irrelevant. Let's roll him. Mana is irrelevant. Coins maybe. You know what? Let's go with another box of riches for even more gemstones. Yeah, and that's also going to give us money pretty much. Let's sell this. And we found Lifesteal again. And inventory space for sure. And I would say let's go with another cap of discomfort. In general, allowing the opponents to not heal is very, very important. If I can make the opponents unable to heal, we're going to beat a lot of uh, enemies just through that. And as long as I'm taking away buffs, we should be good to go. Uh, this guy does not generate buffs. I mean, they don't generate buffs, but we will take them away. And we also have the brass knuckles. So in case you don't know how the brass knuckles work, I'm going to explain in a moment. Nullified uh, them gaining heat. I'm going to nullify and also take away. Uh, because there are very, very heavy buff builds late game. So uh, nullifying and taking away is very important. Nice, we won. Very nice. This does work. They didn't even trigger our active ability. So let me now explain how exactly the brass knuckle works. So this thing here on hit has a 3% chance to stun for 0.5 seconds. And this this and the start items gain 5 accuracy and 5 crit hit chance every time that 30% thing rolls. So after critting for 5 times, it's going to apply the opponent, uh, apply to our units 25% crit chance and accuracy. Not critting, stunning. And then during battle rage, trigger 50% faster. So if we get battle rage, that's going to be that. Uh, let's definitely get Flot Topaz here to level those up. Let's put the healing amplification on this. And let's go here. This is the anti-healing. 15% anti-healing. Let's put it somewhere so opponents cannot really heal. Do I want Vampirism? I would say yes. My healing is important. Uh, this is... This is for Camp of Discomfort. Roll him. And I found another healing, which I will buy. And I will also buy another leather boot. Because this thing says a 25% chance to resist ice. I don't want to get iced at all. And then Battle Rage entered. Cleanse three random debuffs. Gain one empower and gain eight healing. So if I get into Battle Rage, I will be more powerful. I found another one of these gems. I have so many of these now. Uh, let's go here. No, th those aren't going to combine anyway. So let's go amplify healing. And uh, definitely buy both of these. And let's go. Let's go. Once again, I'm an early game build. Because buffs are powerful early game. These small amounts of buffs, if you take them away, you win through the fact that you took them away. Late game, when the opponent have 50,000 buffs, that's going to be irrelevant. But early game, it is very relevant. Yeah, we just took everything away from them. And I'm also scaling damage. That's the main trick here. 17 to 20 damage. And they're gone. <laughs> they got critted and they died. Because this had 40% crit chance. And let's go. Chance to freeze the opponents is this. Or every mana gain, gain 3. 25% uh, chance to hit health and inflict ice. And mm, No, I think we're going to stick to attacks with lifesteal. Let's go amplify healing again. Uh, these all need to get combined. So let's do a switch like this. Nice. These all going to combine. Uh, inventory space for sure. And uh, the crystal for sure. So I find the thing I actually need later. What is this gem? Oh, it can combine. So it definitely joins. Here you go. I don't care about this, honestly. And you're gonna join over here. I don't have money. I don't have the money for this. Big mistake. Let's roll them though. Then I found even more vampirism and or lifesteal and whatever you want to call it. Uh, I would like you to be... Yeah, I want this to combine obviously right away. Uh, we can definitely do that. So you go here and just transfer over here. As simple as that. And let's go. Now we also have lifesteal, so we're super duper safe. Okay. Now we're super duper safe. Maybe I should have also gotten the shield so I could block more things. Do enjoy that we get the 25% of this damage taken for 5 seconds. We're gonna get the second cavity discomfort that's gonna make it 50%. Uh, we are still losing, but once again, we take away the buffs. So as long as the fights are slow and steady, we're gonna be winning, not losing. Does the scaling of damage happen every hit? I, think it, I thought it's only on crits. No, it's every hit. On hit, chance to stun... And this and star items gain accuracy. I think they should change this completely. It should say on hit, star items gain 5% accuracy and 5% crit chance. And then below that, it should say uh, on hit, 3% chance to stun. Uh, it would be a bit clearer. Anyway, we are getting the early game wins, which is very important. Nice. We got a 20% lifesteal on that. We got another lifesteal gem. And we also got another lifesteal gem. Boom, let's combine those. Let's definitely put that here. Amplify healing. And uh, I don't care about the gem on that. Uh, let's buy the boots, so it's gonna combo, level up into inventory space. Nice, nice. And we found the cheap uh, health potion. Man, it has been so long since I'm playing with health potions. <laughs> I'm not playing with health potions anymore. The good old days, remember? Remember. Anyway, let's go. I don't need the health potions, although I do have Amplify Healing. Which should make them better for us. Mm, nah, doesn't really matter. They're not gonna get buffs ever. 
So it's okay. They're gonna smack us once every blue moon. We have a decent amount of lifesteal on my attacks. Yeah, look at this. We're healing a lot. Yeah, they can do whatever they want, but we're still healing. And the lifesteal, uh, which is two healers for three, <laughs> that's how much healing amplification we have. They're at half health, so they're gonna be smacking us faster and faster. Now I'm at half health, so I'm gonna be smacking them extremely faster. And we won. Very nice. I'm also winning the fatigue fight. Easy enough. Easy enough. And I find our collar that makes my damage immunity window and attacks me all that more uh, faster. On another gemstone, you go here. And I guess you go here. I do prefer healing amplification. Yeah, healing amplification is better than lifesteal on the thing thing and thing there. Chip top us, so that thing is gonna give us more energy. Man, I enjoy playing with gems. Uh, I could get another one for another cap of discomfort. And honestly, I think that is the play. So let's take this. Now we have two gemstones sitting around. Roll them and find more inventory space. And let's go. Yeah, let's go. I want to get Cap of Discomforts if I can. Not allowing the opponents to get any buffs whatsoever. This guy is an ice build in the making. Uh, that's not important. We're gonna take away enough buffs for them to not do anything. They are gaining mana. Yeah, okay. But still. Uh, they froze us a little bit. But at half health, I'm gonna lose almost all my buffs. So that's not an issue. They start gaining spikes. We take them away too. As long as they gain buffs, we gain stats. <laughs> and they're gone. And we got our win here. Easy enough. Nope, we didn't get our win way yet. I'm telling you, this is the simplest build to get going. The chain whip build. Let's go protective purse. And here I would now say, let's get the blood amulet, is what I would say. Wait, this hammer can craft the gloves? Into what? Oh, the gloves that give you attack speed late game. For our healing amplification and whatnot, so let's definitely do that. Let's actually switch here, because healing amp is more important than the gemstones. Uh, I definitely want the lifesteal though, that's a guarantee. So let's put the lifesteal gem here, and this is energy regen. Let's find inventory space. Found some, and found also the very important backpack. And I also found our box of riches. I would say yes to this leather armor, because I do want to get the 50% as damage taken boost. And also I need another triple slot for gemstones in the first place. So I would say we buy the attack speed, and uh, we don't have money. <laughs> but we somehow get the box of riches. We definitely don't want the other thing. Let's go here. This gets even more attack speed, I would say. You can also have attack speed. Ah, this is better. Nice. Gloves of Haste are already in the zone. You can get on the zone too, so this can also crit. This should join. And the Poison Gem is useless because I'm not going to play Poison Gem. Although, if I play Poison, is the thing, I will start to gain life through Corrupted Crystal, giving a shielding per debuff. But that's so irrelevant, man. Let's get out of one of these. And um, yeah, definitely. Because this is money in the forms of gemstones. And I would say this gemstone goes here. So now we have inventory to put that in. And now we have three of these generating. And let's actually have them all next to each other. So that whoever plays against us sees it and is like, what is that guy doing? What are they doing? And that's me. Like, I'm, what am I doing? <laughs> let's go. We got the, everything combining as we want to. I don't think I missed anything. It's okay. This is a debuff build, so uh, it's okay. We have a lot of blinding, which is bad, but we have on hit gain accuracy and crit chance, so theoretically we should be able to hit them. Uh, we start losing life here. I have too much poison, and we activated my... Look at how much health we got, and we won, actually. Wow. We did actually win. Unbelievable. We were losing, and we won. Let's go on. Let's go on. Easy enough. Combo those. I found cheese, and I found my next cup of discomfort. Very nice. Uh, this should go... Oh, this is good where it is. I would like this attack speed to be hitting the brass knuckle. So let's flip it like that. Done. Perfect. This is perfect. So you can go here. I don't want it, but still. And let's go here. And now this boot should go over here. And now I got another cap of discomfort coming in. Uh, these are going to combine. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, I need inventory space. I'm not going to buy the leather bag. I, I need inventory space. And cheese is definitely not. Wow, we found the perfect ruby. I want to buy that, but I still want inventory. We found inventory space. Very nice. <laughs> very, very small one, that is. Uh, yeah, I guess you go here, and you go here so that you combine. This cannot combine with anything other than that over there, so let's take this. And I would like to buy combine those right now. So, oh, this can also combine up there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, let's actually not do this stupid thing I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, that also combines, and these two also combine. So I would say let's maybe undercut one of the gems. I don't really need that much right now. I need to undercut two gems. One is this one, another one is this one. And then you guys can like, be next to each other by doing that. I don't think that's gonna be. Yeah, organized time, I guess. Okay, here we go. 
I don't think we have any more inventory space for any of these. Yeah, we're gonna not use two of my gems. I do want them in general, but it's okay. And we're gonna next buy... Most likely next we're gonna buy the perfect ruby. And then after that, the leather armor a bit later. Okay, so this is a buff build. So we should have some kind of... Uh, winning here. We should we should be winning. We should outscale them in all aspects. As long as I get rid of the spikes, we should be really good. They're getting a bunch of spikes. If I don't get rid of the spikes, I'm gonna get rid of Vampirism. If not Vampirism, it's gonna be luck. So I take something away for sure. 58 damage there. Look at this. 28, 3 crits, nullified, 72, and they're gone. I'm also nullifying buffs. That's the main trick. The main trick is that I have two aspects going on. Ooh, your opponent healing is reduced by 40%, and I'm already at 3D plus 3D, so that's just 60% less healing on the opponents with these two alone. Right? These names for 10 to 5, these names for 10 to 5, and then chance to nullify buffs. So right now I have a 30% chance to nullify buffs, and then I have I remove a buff, uh, two buffs too, and I also don't allow the opponents to heal. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with your opponent healing is reduced by 40%, or 100% chance to remove a random buff on your opponent. Both of those are good. I think I'm gonna go with opponents can't heal, at least for now. Uh, we heal more. This is the attack speed thing, so let's put that in. I still have energy as this. Uh, not still have energy, just I have more energy gain. Uh, does this fit? Yeah, it fits because I have single spotters. As long as you have single spotters, everything fits. This goes here, so opponent's healing is reduced by 120% right now. Um, I would say, instead of doing that, let's go with 80% healing reduced and 100% chance to remove debuffs whenever this thing's max. It would be nice if the Brass Knuckle had a... Um, a slot. So every 2 3.5 seconds, that's gonna take one debuff away from the opponents. And this still is gonna stay, this is gonna stay, we're gonna also go and buy that. Yeah, right now my inventory is pretty ready to what we're gonna buy. I don't have inventory space though, but the shop is ready and lined up. And this is an insane busted blade build, so as long as they don't burst us to death in one hit, we should be winning. As long as they don't burst us to death. By the way, they are a buff build and they just took them all away. They are literally unable to buff now. Uh, oh, they buffed a bit, they're gone. And they're not gonna kill us unless I get critted. And now we win, because now my strength comes in. Easy enough. Easy enough. This thing is working. I didn't expect this to work. This is actually working. Very simple and clean. I think the main trick is the fact that I have these uh, Cab of Discomforts not allowing the opponents to get buffs. I think that's the main little trick here that I didn't think about when I first played this. Uh, let's go here with Healing Amp. Also, the fact that I have Insane Healing Amp is, of course, helping us a lot. 35% healing increase. Mm, this is too expensive. I would say we buy these two, which is cheaper, and then roll into inventory. I need to find inventory. <laughs> this is starting to become a real issue right now, but it's okay. Uh, I would like to put this in instead of that, or at least one turn to level that up and have it lined up and ready for the next fight. So we're gonna have a little bit of this less healing amp right now. Well, let's flip it like that. Easy enough. So I will be weaker for one turn, but it's okay. I need to find inventory, man. Let's go. This is a... anti but What? It doesn't matter what it is. They're not gonna be able to do anything to us. At the moment they lose all their healing, it's gone. They take buffs away from us and poison us, but we're gonna remove debuffs if I ever hit half health. I don't think it even matters. They just cut crit for 54. It's over. It's over. They can't heal, man. As long as the opponents cannot heal, it's easy. All these fights and all everything is easy. As long as the opponents cannot heal. I think this no healing play counters like half the game. Just having two cups of the comfort is already crazy. Can I see healing? Almost nothing. They even had a nocturnal locker man and they healed nothing. Easy enough. 300 damage there with a the whip. Very easy. Two more turns left. I can't even buy this. Uh, I, you know what? Forget this. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. It is busted. Yeah, okay. It is the gemstone I would like to have. But I don't see us finding enough inventory space and time to fit this. Especially in two rounds. So let's find inventory over anything else. On some. Thank you. Uh, hopefully even more. <laughs> I'm finding gems. Who cares about those region? Also, who cares? Cheese. And this is energy gain. I don't really need energy gain. Do I have enough room? One... I mean, this could go here. Yeah, I do have enough room. Just like this. And now I have my actual inventory space lined up and ready. Let's actually level these up. You can go here. I would like to level one of these up. Which can't really... I mean, yeah, it can go here. By the way, the gemstones that I... The yellow ones in the inventory space. Chance to prevent stuns and chance to prevent crits. So we have a bunch of prevention going on. You, I would like you here. Nice, making sure that... Oof. 
I want to level... Oof, that was... That's bad. Um, definitely put this... These two. Not, not only these. These two here. These two. Over here. And the banana... I'm gonna see. I need to reorganize. I need to reorganize. Nope, I do not. <laughs> okay, we got all the commas going. Uh, these are relevant. These are also relevant. I guess I should sell some. This is gonna stay. This is not gonna stay. Uh, let's sell this. Find inventory space. On a single spotter. Let's go here. Should have bought the boots, by the way. Should have bought the boots. Would I buy the boots? I can definitely buy the boots. If I sell this. Uh, but I don't really have that much inventory. Although the boots have a single spot to put things in. So I guess I'm just not gonna have this in the zone. No, that's gonna be in the boots. I need to remove two items. That's not gonna happen. Let's actually roll away from this. I need inventory. Uh, I'm not gonna roll anymore. Let's go. Does this fit anywhere? No, we don't have room. That's gone. And I'm also not gonna be able to level anything up as this is the final fight. Okay, this is a flame build. Nullified a bunch of flame. As long as I'm nullifying enough, we're gonna be winning. They have a dragon build, so they're gonna debuff us theoretically. Oh, we took all the buffs away already. They they also waste their buffs because they have the daggers that take away their buffs. So you're gone, man. You can no longer play. M big mistake. Don't play with daggers. They take away your heat. You're gone. Easy enough. Easy enough. This thing works, man. I I was uh, this was supposed to be a meme build in my books, and it actually is a good build. Not the best build, but it's a build and it works. Let's put that here. That's attack speed. Very nice. More attack speed on the god thing and uh, stamina regen and stamina regen. And uh, what is this? Inflect debuffs, who cares? Inflect ice, who cares? We can find better gemstones. Found one last inventory slot, but I don't care about that. We found inventory space. Nice. And I guess I could buy one last boot and that would be it. It's not gonna level up though. He's definitely joined now. I guess buy the boot even if it doesn't level up. Who cares? We won anyway. Found a chance to resist poison. Okay, so this is more useless than chance to resist poison. And this is fatigue, so this is also more useless than chance to resist poison. Let's go with this. 20% chance to resist poison as my last gemstone. And uh, we actually found the good gemstone here at the end. Uh, yeah, this is energy stamina region right now. Yeah, we have a bunch of into stamina region. Do I care about all of the stamina region? I think I care more about opponents being unable to heal. Wait. Yeah, this is the opponent's remove debuffs. And I have a 20% chance. So right now, my opponent anti heal is 30, plus 30, 60, plus 20. 80% uh, healing reduction. If I take this, that's going to be 110% healing reduction. They're going to be literally unable to heal. So I'm thinking we buy this for 8. And I remove all the crazy energy region we have. Because I have two bananas. So I would say 1, 2, uh, 3, 4... What else? What else? Oh, these are all useless. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So these, these go right away, actually. These go right now. Ah, we're, ooh, we're super roomy. Ooh, ooh, I take everything back. I forgot about the fact that I could do that. Whoopsie. And you definitely join here so that now opponents can no longer heal. Now I have two coins to use into literally rolling them away. And we're ready to go. Uh, yeah, I have my enough energy regen. We have a lot of energy regen here. And also a lot of anti-healing. Opponents should literally be unable to heal, actually. Literally unable to heal. And uh, let's go. And you also have a bunch of healing amp on my side. We should be winning no matter what this is. It's a fatigue build. Oh, I'm playing against a fatigue build. Well, they're also getting random buffs. So that alone is going to give us a win. <laughs> and they are nullif we are nullifying too many buffs from them. <laughs> yep, you're gone. It's a vampire blade build. Echo the... M you're going to lose, man. I have too much fatigue, of course. 16 to 1. We might lose from the fatigue idea. But I'm going to now take half damage. And uh, now we get attack speed boost and we win. <laughs> 96 crit damage there at the end with this mad lad. 47 to 52. By the way, this says deal plus one damage for each buff you removed from your opponent. I would like to see if nullifying actually uh, works on that. So let's see. Over here, uh, does the nullify even showcase? Does not, I don't think it does. Shaman mask? Like over here. Right now, on to this point, I don't have any buffs. 4 to 9. Right here, nullify definitely happened. 4 to 9. Nope, still 4 to 9. So then we took away, we took away. I'm trying to see, this, did that buff thing trigger? Did I notify anything? I don't think, I don't think notify even shows up on this one. Fatigue, 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 brass knuckles. 
Open Tiger, they do get their three buffs. Yeah, they gain three buffs normally. And then uh, I want to see from the Bolton Tiger lost one from the Bloodthorn. Yeah, and then gain... Oh, oh, you know what? This is also good. If they lose one here from the Bloodthorn, do I gain damage? So right here, I do 14 to 19. And here they remove one. No, still 14 to 19. Okay, I guess not. Flawless Sapphire does this to the Flawless Sapphire at least. No, that's uh, gained. Uh, perfect Ruby, regenerate life. Gained one and two. So here they only get two buffs from the Wolpen Tiger. So that means, let's see if that counts as taking damage. 18 to 23. And here, still 18 to 23. And here, once again, they get only two buffs. Still 18 to 23. Yeah, it needs to specifically remove two to get the damage. 20 to 25. But uh, with a Perfect Ruby, they're moving. That's also a question. So from 20 to 25, if I Perfect Ruby, it's still a way above. 21, 26. So deal plus one damage for each buff you remove from your opponent is actually exactly what it means, but you need... So you can remove them with perfect rubies too. It's not only forced to be with a chain whip. So if you have three or four weapon build with uh, a bunch of amethysts, you can take away a bunch of buffs from the opponent and buff your spiky shield a lot. And at the end, I was doing 47. Like, at the end, this was an actual powerful weapon. It even had a cooldown of one second, so it was pretty fast. 100% crit chance because... Not, not 100% crit chance. 100% accuracy, 75% crit chance because of this mad lad brass knuckles. I do enjoy the brass knuckles. Now that I realize how they work, it's actually nice. This, this worked out. I was not expecting this to work out. I think the secret trick of winning always is going with anti-lifesteal, man. I think a lot of people are playing with healing or regen or some kind of healing. So if you just get amethyst, so just go into gemstones and get amethyst and put them into inventory slots or try to get a couple of cap of discomforts, two of them would already be enough. 60% less healing on the opponent is a lot. Like imagine the opponent trying to heal 500 health, which a lot of builds do, by the way. So let's say the opponent's trying to heal 500 health. With 60% damage healing reduction, they only heal for 200. That's a 300 damage hit just because you have two comfort of discomfort, which isn't really that hard to do. And the gemstones, the corrupted crystals aren't even that bad to have in the inventory, right? Like, these items are decent. It's not like, oh, but it's just going to reduce healing. No, no, no. They also make you 50% less damage taken for 5 seconds. That's important. Opponents not getting buffs. That's also important. And the healing is, like, the, the big thing. So, yeah. Very powerful, in my opinion. Very strong. The build itself could be done with a bunch of other weapons. But I think I just found a little bit of a trick how to beat most of the fights in uh, this game. As long as the opponent cannot heal, a lot of builds really rely on healing. And at the end of the day, it's easier to just have to deal with oh, the opponent having 300 health than the opponent having 900 health. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.